<clears throat> Yo! <clears throat> Got a little of the resident evil going on. <clears throat> Sorry. My goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to my playthrough of Resident Evil 3 for the original PlayStation, playing on RetroArch with the uh, Swan Station uh, emulator. All right, let's see where we're at. <clears throat> lots of ammunition, lots of everything, actually. I'm doing very good, but it's easy mode, so that's to be expected. <clears throat> and we're going to put this back in here. And I think I'm going to put that back in there too. Just for now. Get it back out later. <clears throat> Alright. Let's move on. Oh yeah. We came from this way. Yeah, because we had to kill the the fire dogs, the hot dogs. Yeah. Smoked chili dogs. <clears throat> Alright. So ominous and scary and weird. All right, let me see here. Okay, so that path right there has something going on with it. Not sure what that red means. That little red right there. <clears throat> Stuff going on over here. There's a door I can't go into. Excuse me. I'm assuming that that means that's a door I can't go into also. So I probably have to come out that door. So I need to go up and go that way. So much to do. So many places to go. <clears throat> Alright. To the left. And then see if we can... Man, I don't know if we're going to be able to go up and to the left. I think we might have to actually go this way and then come back around some way. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. this right? Yeah. Okay. The map makes it a little difficult to see exactly what's going on with things sometimes. Oh boy. Assault rifle? Oh, I'm, I'm selecting my own. List. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, what? I'm hitting the wrong button. X is the button I need to be hitting. Okay. What's up with this water? Is something about to happen here? Got my pistol ready. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about it. Oh, there's the police station. Yeah, we want to go in there for show, for show, for show. Keep hitting the wrong button there. <clears throat> okay. What's in the gate? Ooh, a little upskirt shot. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Check out the big brain on Brad. Fight with the monster, enter the police station. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the police station. Whoa. I don't really want to fight with the nemesis. This, this, this. Boy. Oh. <clears throat> oh boy. This is just like on Resident Evil 2. Oh, it's it's different. They changed some stuff. 
Hopefully I can get away from this guy. He didn't bust that door on me. But I was like, I gotta get these herbs. Uh, what to do here? I don't know. Oh, it's all boarded up. Wow. Bullets. <clears throat> Typewriter. Oh, what's this over here? Police station map. Definitely take that. Cool. I need a stars card. That sounds familiar. Yeah, no ink ribbons. <clears throat> this is so interesting to go back to Resident Evil 2 stuff. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Is that the guy that was in there? I don't think so. They got like party favors and stuff over here now. Well, yeah, they definitely have. Oh, hi. Man, these zombies look like even more like messed up and gross. There's a lot of detail in their like skin and crap that's all messed up. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> oh hi, we got another one over here. He's dead. Got anything interesting over here? I always forget to check their bodies. Sometimes in Resident Evil games, the uh, dead zombies have stuff you can get. <laughs> September 29th, Michael Festival. I need some water. Damn it. Oh, there's the guy. That's the guy from the second game. Marvin Brana. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. Appears to be holding something in his hand. <clears throat> Marvin's report. September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. So they got the gem. That's truly outrageous. I wonder if he's going to come back as a zombie. Can't get past him. Okay, well. Interesting. Very interesting. Check these guys' bodies. 
He's still twitching. Gross. Gross. Ew. Ew. All right, let's go in the storage room. See if we can find a gym or the misfits. Ooh, there's a glowy light over there. What's that mean? Will you take the blue gem? Uh, yes, I will. Let's take a look at it. A sapphire shining in blue. Sapphire. A fantastic shoot 'em up, by the way, for the PC engine. I bet there's somebody over here. Oh, well, I'm shocked. <clears throat> it's locked with a number based lock. First digit. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. First digit number. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. That's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. I don't know what the combination is. I have to find out. It's only five, well, six possibilities, but yeah, for the first number anyway. All right, what's over here? Oh, hi. Are you a zombie or just uh, hanging around? Yeah, you're a zombie. I took a chance and shot her. You know, I didn't figure she was just chilling. Moogle. Moogle's come over to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I was talking about you. Yeah, yeah, Adrian. Yeah, I'm a zombie. Hmm. All right. Map. This is so familiar. Damn, my nose is itching. Sorry. Hmm. Arr! All right, hang on. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I had to blow my nose something fierce. The things that came out would terrify you. All right, I think there's a... Oh, there's a zombie. He did. Please do not leave the dark room door open. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Is that what this is? A dark room? I know there was something under the here, but I can't remember. A save room. A room for the saving. Yes. Oh, what's this over here? David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Mayor, Meyer, something, can't, could be either one. One of those, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I still, I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind, the sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid, terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now, 
I'm cutting through the chill with my whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. <clears throat> that shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over the trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Wow. Sorry, David. It sucks. That's not good. But, you know what? Everybody has to make their own decision about how they face the end. So, we come over here to get stuff developed. Just like in the second one. Nothing suspicious. Which I find suspicious. Anyway. So I can save it here. Break out my infinite ink ribbons. I think we'll do that. Let's put the sapphire up. Get the ink ribbons out. Put these up as well. I don't think we need these out. Yes. Dark room. Not just a room, but dark. It is Resident Evil. Everything's evil in Resident Evil. Sorry, let me check this uh, right here. Oh, look, there's something in here. You take the gunpowder? A, hey, yes. Good thing I checked it. Please. We'll put that in the chest as well. Go down here, gunpowder A. Alright. Onward we go. Is that something that I can do and get right there? No. Okay, just check it. Check it a map, check it a map. It was it wasn't a map though. I'm just checking. Up the stairs. Oh, we get the stair effect. I hear somebody. Hey, what's up? That's a big guy right there. Yeah. Cats are looking at each other funny. Sometimes they like to fight when I'm distracted with stuff. I think that's all of them. All right, let's move on. Oh, let me search them. I always forget. I need to search them. No, nothing. Okay. Can I go in this room here? Hmm. Break on through to the other side. Oh, I wonder. No. I'm trying to think. Maybe I was going to use my sapphire there, but no, not there. Looks like a vent. 
Is this a thing you can push? I don't think so. No, that's not. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm overthinking it. <clears throat> is that is that just uh, something on the ground or is that bullets? No, it's something on the ground. Let's see what's in this door here. Oh, it's locked. I need a star's key. Star's key and a hutch. There's really nothing. Small ventilation shaft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not going that way. We're not going that way. Like this is a dead end for now. Hmm. Hmm. A dead end. Okay, that's the save room. through here yeah I couldn't couldn't do that because it uh, it's got a password on it hmm well let's just try some stuff what the hell <laughs> zero two four one. Nope. Wait, do I only get one shot at it? Uh oh. I mean, will even come back and see if it still lets me try. I may have made a mistake. gotta figure out what that combination is. I don't think I have anything that would have that number on it. Let's see. No, there's nothing there. Photo A. Okay, well, I'll have to find that out. I could just look it up and cheat, but I don't want I don't want to cheat. I'm already playing in super easy mode. How much more easy do I need this to get? one door huh well I don't know let me try this again let me see 
go this way. Did I not go in this door? I guess I didn't. I hear dogs. The pitter patter of little feet. Little dead feet. Un undead feet. There he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing, little guy? Got him. That's too bad. I love dogs. Poor little guys. so weird to come back to these same places from Resident Evil 2. Oh, there's something over here. Ah! Yes, I will take the stars card. Absolutely. Nighty card for stars with Jill. It's Oh, what a coincidence! That's a hell of a Coincidence, don't you think? Why would there be a card for me sitting there like that? It's interesting. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it, but it's very suspicious. over here nothing okay let's go in this room here what do we got oh I'll probably need to light this fire oh some shotgun shells nice there's nothing you can do with the fireplace okay probably probably nothing but I do want to check. I do want to try my lighter on it just to see. Is there nothing else in here? I got the stars card though. That's what's important. All right. It's gonna grab my lighter. Put these up. I don't need those for right now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm actually going to put this up and keep that out just in case I need it. I don't think there's any other 
quest items in here. No. Nope. Nose itch. All right. Let's go try the lighter. Lighter probably won't work, but I just want to try it. <clears throat> and then if it doesn't work, I'll put it back. Nope, it's not going to work. Well, now we know. I'd rather know and and waste a little bit of time than not know. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Yeah, buddy. You know what? We'll just go ahead and go on because I got some empty slots. I'll find a place to put it up in a minute. Oh, red herbs. Hi. <laughs> Hi, red herbs. Sheesh, we're going to have a lot of health stuff. Okay, well, I guess that's as far as I go over here. Yep. But we can use that card and go to all new places. Mix of the herbs, mix it, mix it, the herbs. And we definitely don't need to carry around all those herbs. So we'll stick you. I'm gonna try to keep all the health stuff together as much as I can. Little organization, that's all I'm doing. Just a little bit. And shotgun shells can be combined. Oops. That's what I meant to do. Be cool if you could wield dual shotguns, akimbo shotguns. <laughs> it might be kind of weird, but uh, I'm I'm down for it. I know it's stupid to save it again, but who cares? I'm not I'm I'm not interested in like the minimal amount of saves and all that. And I have an unlimited number of ink ribbons, so I'm just gonna save it again. too dark yeah we're good let's go upstairs 
check out the uh, the room up there. See where it goes. Oh, I gotta get a star's key. Ah. I see. Not just a star's card, a star's key. That's right. So I can't do nothing over here. Okay, so we'll come back. So we need to go... Some uh, Something I gotta do downstairs. I gotta... Put my key into the computer. That's what I gotta do. Not not my key, my card. I'm trying to get a key. I've got a card. I need a key. I gotta get it straight in my head. Get it together, 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 get it together. Oh, I can't say it fast enough. Here we go. Again on our own. Gotta stay away from the nemesis guy looking for autographs. Run around going stars! Like, dude, not right now. Is this guy still over here? Yep, he's still there. Don't forget, I'm looking for that code also. I need the code. It almost looks like something over here, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing over here. Oh, okay. Let's put the key, the code into the computer. Let's see if we can get the key. Notice to STARS personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the STARS office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is 4011. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's go take care of some business. take the emblem key um you know i've always had a you know I was, I was told when i was growing up not to take things that don't belong to me and I, you know I, don't, I feel guilty but yes i'll take the key all right let's take a look at it check it a key check it a key engraved it's the stars key Let's 
go use it. Up at the stairs we go. You gotta give her a lot of credit. She's moving really well for wearing a mini skirt. And she's not too worried about that top falling down. She's a brave woman. Where's it? Oh, it's not here. It's here, right? Yes. No longer need the key. Yes. What's up in this room? Large communication device. Without a commission. Can't send any message from here. I got you. Something glowing over here. Desk of Rebecca. A rookie member of stars. Rebecca Chambers? Probably so. Oh, here we go. First aid spray. Got a lot of uh, healing stuff. Oh, it's over here. Will you take the lock pick? Now, well, you know? Freddy Krueger has a glove. Jason has a machete. The Leatherface has a uh, chainsaw. And Jill has a lock pick. If you know what I'm saying. She is a monster with that thing. Desk of Chris from Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just organized. Probably reflects the owner's personality. Yeah. Got a printer over here. There's something on the printer. Facts from Kendo Gun Shop. To the boys of stars and the girls and the girls. I have some good news for you from the from my brother Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for official use. It is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo gun custom guns. Joe said, if you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. Ooh, sick burn. The goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the M92F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo, Kendo Gunshot. Cool. Thanks, Robert. Hopefully we can find that gun. Hey, there's some bullets. Yeah, we'll take the bullets. We take it the bullets. Very, yeah, replica gun stuff. I got you. Not what we're looking for. Yeah, I got you. Mm, Wesker. Mm -hmm. Albert Wesker. There he is. There they all. They there they all are. Yep. Marksman contest winner Chris Redfield. How about that? Okay, well, I think we got everything we're going to get out of here. Unfortunately, that seems to be it. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Come in. I'm here. Yes, come in. Interesting. I'll just send a fax. Maybe not. Okay, well. I can't go down that way. I'll double check just to see, but I, it's all blocked. Yep, I can't go that way. Alrighty then. I can't go in there. Uh oh. I heard something. Is that the nemesis? I think that was the nemesis. He's got a rocket launcher. Yeesh. Hi, Caramba. I didn't realize he was going to chase me like that. My goodness. Yeah, that's kind of scary. He's talking about how there wasn't any real jump scares. Well, there was that. Statue of the Flying Goddess. Yeah, nothing I can do with that. Like there's only one way to go. Nothing over here. No. Okay, so... Sales office. I need to go over there. See if we can get over there. I don't know. like a save spot right there. Yes. Okay, so we'll save it here. Ugh. 
I don't think we need all this, so put one of these up and get our ink ribbons out. See if we can get over there. Ah, oh, still don't. I can't get there because of this. That's right. Yeah, can't do it. All right, come back to that. Nothing I can do over here. Oh, hi, zombies. Yeah, get off me. All right. Well. Good thing I got a lot of bullets. Dead. Nothing over there. What is this right here? Nothing. Okay. Ooh. Ah. I'm hearing more guys. What is that? What is that noise? Eating on that guy, that's what it is. Ah, oh, you come up here. Oh, I hear 
bunch of stuff going on over here. Hey, doggies. What the hell's wrong with you? I like that move. That's awesome. That little move she can pull. That is freaking badass. It's really helpful. Shoot up. Door's been sealed. There's the door I wasn't able to go into before. Take a look. Boutique is locked. Need to get up there, but I can't get there. Not yet. Hmm. Bunch of smoke over here you're not going that way that goes in there Hmm, I'm gonna go in there and just take a look. Absolutely nothing. Ugh, come on. Hmm. Okay, I'll go in the store here. at the moment but uh, it is important to know that that's there okay go this way I'm probably going in circles a little bit here but that's okay
over here with this. Oh, finally! Oh, I blew up the thing. Whoops. I wasn't trying to do that. Oh, well. This opened up. Gunpowder B. Yes. Okay. I wasn't trying to blow that up, but it is what it is. If I even went this way. Hmm. <laughs> Zombies over here. Nut shot. <laughs> Sorry about your nuts, pal. You're not going to need them anymore anyway, though. Eventually, I will run out of bullets. Well, I'm back over here again. Okay. Back up just a little bit. came from hmm. okay let's do that hang on so that goes down that way Okay. Yeah, let's go down this way. And if this doesn't work out, we'll go the other way.
Yeah. We were we were just over here. I can't go that way, that's right. Okay, we'll go back. I'll figure it out. to the right. Yeah, because I got to go back to that other spot. That's right. This one. where the chick died. She's dead. Yes, she is. We went back over here. they got him out of the thing they, they got him out he was he was gonna hide in there forever remember I guess he got uh, hungry or something spot well I guess we'll save it going for over an hour well I'm not ready to stop yet though we're gonna keep going a little bit longer here check this area before I go because now oh this is open now so yeah I want to go up here it's a good thing I decided to come over here oh look at all this what's this Dario's memo 
I can't help but wonder if anyone will read these words, but writing them will help me maintain my sanity, if nothing else. After I've become a meal for those undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? So, is this how it's supposed to end? I don't want to die. I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed. But none of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. What a... <laughs> okay, dude. I mean, I guess, but... I never would have pictured my end to be like this. I have so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. This guy's really full of himself. <laughs> it's what I've always wanted, but my mother would only tell me, you have a long way to go. Why did I ever listen to her? Wow. <laughs> All right. But this looks like the end for the great, the great Dario Rosso. Wow. Novelist extraordinaire. Cut down before his prime. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It is what it is, Dario. Okay, well, oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. There's some, some yeller ones, too. Yes, I'm out of spots. So, oh, I gotta... Uh, I'm gonna have to come back for one of them. Okay. Well, let me run... Take care of that. I'll pause it so you don't have to watch it. All right, we dumped uh, dumped off all the gunpowder into the uh, box. I'm not gonna save it because I actually just saved it, so I don't need to save it yet. But I do I do have to figure out where I'm supposed to go now because I'm not sure. I don't want to go up because that'll take me back into the same thing that I was at so I need to go forward here to the right. Okay. 
I don't think I can go in this door here because it's sealed or whatever. Locked. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I can use my lockpicks. No? Damn it. Let's open it and try it one more time. Nope. Not for that door. Hurry up. I can't go that way. Thing is up now. Well, that's a bummer. I'm kind of cut off, man. I, there's only, I can't go. I don't know. Go this way. I got to go back up. This way. It's probably something I was supposed to do that was hopefully uh hopefully I don't have to fight that dude. It might be what I have to do is actually fight that guy. That goes up. Okay, so I can't go. Can't go this way. So I do have to go that way. I can't go in there because I don't have the fire hose. Hmm. need a fire hose. There's two ways here. It's a save room. Which I don't even need to go into yet. Okay, go to this door. If I could go that way, well, maybe I can go this way. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're talking. Loading barrel. Oh, hi. I saw you. Where'd you go? I saw you. <laughs> okay. Take it to bullets. 
He's holding something. Mercenary's Diary. Se September the 1st. Following six months of intensive training, my body's edge had returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution with no reason given. I was tortured and forced to give a false confession. But on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. The company had helped me out, giving me a special lease on life. Or a second lease on whatever, you know what I'm saying. September the 15th. I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. It looked like the UBCS unit had been called into action. Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addition, they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. I'm currently a member of the latter. September 28th. Dawn's here, but we're still slogging through this nightmare. There are more provisions. There are no provisions of any kind here. The undead walk the streets, feeding upon the flesh of the living. Given the choice again, I would rather have my I would rather have been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I've chosen to pull the trigger myself in the hope that. My dead body won't come back to life. Well, all right. He went out the uh, old-fashioned way. Where's this liquor at? I saw him crawling around. I don't know where he went, though. Okay, now where are we? To the right is a dead end. Let's go to the right. There's the fire hose. You found the marble in the oatmeal. You get to drink from the fire hose. Anybody know what movie that's from? Ten points if you do. Oh, I gotta get something to get it loose. Okay. At least I know where the hose is. Look at all those herbs up there. Hmm, very tempting. What's going on here? Blue herbs, green herbs. All kinds of herbs. All of the herbs. Well, I guess we'll pick up the blue. We'll use one of these green ones, because I did get hit earlier. And we'll combine. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Combine those. And combine those. Now we can pick that up. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, what do we got up here? I love that move she has. She's always getting to places right when somebody else is about to die, and then she can't help them.
He didn't make it. Gunpowder! Yep. Yeah, he's dead, alright. More dead bodies over there. Still alive. Yeah, it ain't. Finally. Jeez. Look at these. It's recharging the battery. Hmm. Can't carry any more items. I guess I can use one of these. Power cable, yes. I got what to do with that. How unusual. Hmm. No power. Okay. Oh, look at all these blue herbs. Wow. Typewriter. Okay, let's dump all this stuff off. get our good old trusty infinite ink ribbon and we'll save it oh we gotta go get those herbs too we'll do that first and then we'll save it and i think that we'll wrap it up here this is enough oh hi guys this is not the door that i thought i went out the other door 
Wow. <laughs> Helps if you got the the right door. Good God. Oh. Went out the total of wrong door. Wow. That was surprising. That was one of the biggest surprises I've had so far. Sheesh. Okay, the other door. How about that? <laughs> wow. And then we'll save it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those are not herbs I can take. Okay. Well, now I know. Now I know. Two surprises. <laughs> back to back. This place is full of surprises. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been part two of my playthrough of Resident Evil 2 for the original PlayStation. Playing it on the Swan Station, the emulator core for RetroArch. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of this. Part three, coming soon. Come hang out with me and we'll have some fun stumbling around in the darkness as I loop and loop around the same places trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm actually having fun. And uh, again, thank you, Luke, for suggesting this. And guys, I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.